Hi, some of you have asked how can you use an interactive game or website with your students using Zoom. So I thought I'd do a quick demonstration for you in the event that this would be helpful to you. So I have another computer set up right next to me. Uh, we will envision that there's a student there. Uh, the video that you see with the name Tyler at the bottom will be the student's computer. And what I'm going to ask, well, what you would ask as a therapist would um, be to, or a teacher, to ask your student, can you share your screen with me? What they would need to do is hover over toward, towards the bottom of the Zoom uh, application, and then some options will show up right in the middle. There's a share screen option. I'm going to show you what it will look like since I'm recording my screen once you click that it will give you many options to select. Screen is always the default option. So we wanna just let them know, once that comes up, screen will automatically be selected and we want you to keep that on there and then select share. You don't want them to click on any, just a particular application. You want to see their whole screen. That way, if they end up going somewhere on their computer and get lost, not quite knowing exactly what you want them to do or where you want them to go, you can see what they're doing and give them some verbal instructions. Ease, it would be, e will be easier for you because you can see exactly what they're doing. Now I'm gonna close this and actually do this from the computer right next to me. So I'm hovering over the bottom. I know you can't see this because I'm on Tyler's computer, but I'm clicking the share screen, making sure screen is selected and clicking share. So what you'll see is that Tyler's screen is popping up for me to, to view his whole computer screen. Now, this particular website is a typing website that a lot of our therapists enjoy using. There's lots of fun ones out there. Um, typing Club is, is one that a lot of our therapists use. And this would be a website most likely where it would be beneficial for you to see what's happening on their screen. But for students that are using this, most of them would easily be able to follow directions when you just said, okay, go ahead and click the get started button and guide them to where you want them to go. So just viewing their screen would be enough. However, you may, uh, it may be beneficial for you to take them to a website that has a game where you can interact more, take turns with them. For example, there are games where memory matching games, for example, where a whole bunch of cards are on the screen and you're clicking two, at a t two um, options to try to find matches. And this might be something that could be a lot of fun for you to do with a child together, where you take a turn and then they take a turn to try to find matches. In order for that to work, you would need to be able to control your child's screen. So that's what I want to demonstrate for you right now is how to do that. Once you hover over the room, the Zoom room, you, or the Zoom application, you'll see at the top, it will show you whose screen you're viewing. So we're viewing Tyler's screen and right to the right of it is a view options with a little down arrow next to that that you want to click. So you would click that and then request remote control. So when you do that, a box will come up making sure that that's what you want to do. You're about to request remote control of Tyler's shared content and you would need to click request, which will prompt something to come up on his screen. That says Melanie Chris is requesting remote control of your shared content and you have to, so you would ask them, go ahead and click approve. So once that's approved, you can see at the top of your Zoom application that says you can control Tyler's screen. So now at this point, I can click to get started and uh, take him wherever I want him to go on this particular website. Maybe there's, there are some websites that have lots of different game options and you might uh, be there and want to select a particular game or you might be playing an interactive game of some kind as I mentioned before where you're taking turns. So this, that is what you would do in order to control your student's screen and be able to do things interactively back and forth. Uh, one thing I would encourage you to do is always look ahead at the particular website that you're, you want the student to go to and make sure that there are no inappropriate apps that pop up on the screen. Just make sure you're taking them to a safe website that has um, appropriate game, uh, well, 
uh, uh, has games where there won't be any, in, any inappropriate content popping up for their viewing. Uh, one other thing I just wanted to note that there are a lot of different video conferencing, conferencing platforms out there, many of which have very similar features. So I'm sure there are many others that would allow this option. It is a wonderful tool that I know our therapists use all the time, the ability to uh, control a student's screen. We actually more often use Adobe Connect because a lot of the schools that we work with use Adobe Connect application. And uh, Adobe Connect, I wanted to um, mention, also has a feature where you can open a pod and, uh, that's called a web links pod where you as the therapist type the website in and click browse to and it opens up that website on your student's computer without them even ha even needing to go find a browser type it in can save some time and you make sure they're getting to the place you want them to get to so that's a great feature that adobe connect has i don't think um, that zoom has that but i could be wrong i will do some more research to see if there might be something i'm missing there so hopefully this was helpful to you and you can uh, try this out with your students because there are so there are so many opportunities online free opportunities online that you can utilize uh, the sky's the limit with the types of things we can work on and the resources that are available online as long as we screen them for appropriateness there are so many things that we can use at our, that we have at our fingertips that can help our students and when you select or use a video conferencing platform like zoom that has the opportunity to be able to share uh, have the student share their screen and you request control of their screen, it can be a huge benefit. So hopefully that helps. Um, best wishes on trying it out with your students. Thanks.